Hey guys, this is another inside look on the Checkers pl um, plugin development. I'm so used to making plugin tutorials that I almost said I was making another one when I wasn't, and that would just be awful. Okay, so I'm making this series based on inside looks for inside of my code for the plugins that I am currently developing. This one, this particular section of this series, is on the Checkers plugin, which is my main focus at the moment. I have some things in the back of my mind, things I'm working through, for instance, my Guild of Thieves plugin. It is taking some time to try to get up and drum up enough new ideas and ways to do things to get that finished. But I'll have some inside looks on that as well. But at the moment, I'm working on checkers. So this is what I've gotten so far. I've basically got a checkerboard that can be reset, it can be set, it can be cleaned, it can be cleared, two different things. And you can join a team. Right now, I'm only working with the dark. I haven't really done anything with the light. That'll be mostly copy and paste. So right now, we're just... Oh, ignore the dog barking in the background. I don't even know what he's barking about. Anyway, so for now, I've already reloaded. Let's just do C, dark, and refresh where we're at. All right, so we've added joined into the dark team. We select a block. It pops up these moves here that you can make. Unselect works just fine. Let's put one of these over here and see what happens. Okay, selected move is over to here, and good, that works, but here's the problem. I can select it again. Okay, not only that, I can select any of them. It's So the problem then is when I jump a piece, it unselects it. Okay, 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 I got it. I got it then. It unselects it, but it's still my turn. That's the problem. So, uh, let's go into the code now. We're going to have to go into Dark Selection Listener. We're going to have to go into... Let's go when we click on... Where is when we click on the piece of glass? Where do we have that? This is all like setting the glass and everything. When you click on that... So if board contains B, if main dark turn, okay, if it's the dark turn, if it's, okay, you're in the dark team, main dot pieces dot is dark B. So the block you clicked on is indeed the dark. If dark has a piece selected, okay, so this one goes to right here, else if piece is light. Else, okay, here's the stained glass. I don't know how I didn't see that. Okay, so we jumped, and after jump here, game dot jump. Where's jump? By the way, you can ignore this string of text here. That's for somebody else. Jump. Here's jump. We'll move this out of the way. Copy, cut. Uh, I don't want to. Yeah, we'll put it in the bugs list, even though it's not a bug. Okay, so we can now get rid of that. We can get rid of board as well. And pieces, we're not doing anything with them. We're not doing using lists, which I think can be deleted. There's the dog. Let's delete that and get that out of the way. There we go. That's much better. Game board dot clean. Okay, so we, we unselect the dark piece. That's where it goes wrong. Then it's supposed to switch turn. That's actually where it goes wrong. Um, I don't know what to do about this. Okay, so we switched the turn it's supposed to work. And it cleans the board. We already did that. So it's getting there. Switch turn. Uh, let's go to Dark Selection Listener and check to make sure it is their turn. If game dot dark turn so if it's their turn it does this <sighs> switch turn if light turn it makes it false dark turn is true else if dark turn <gasps> oh that's why it does it the second time okay because they're both set to true are they not they are... Ah, I've got gotcha. you. Okay, I think I just fixed the bug. We didn't declare those now. They're not... They're neither true nor false. Let's check main to make sure we didn't set them as true or false. Okay, we didn't. That's good. Okay, this should work now. 
Next finish, okay, yes, and here we go. Let's reload. See dark. And uh, let's reload again because I need to. Here, see reset. Okay, and we need to put a piece there. See dark. We select it. Boom. Oh, my turn is now over. Okay, I fixed it. <laughs> that was easy. Oh, so simple. I love the simple things. Unfortunately, it hasn't been simple for me because it took me forever to figure that out. As a matter of fact, I just now figured it out right in front of you guys. So you can um, keep that in your memory as one of those prized moments of your life that you remember when you're 95 and lying on your deathbed. And you say, oh, my favorite moment was when Blue One figured out that bug. It had been bothering me for weeks. Uh, not technically weeks, since this is the second day I've been doing this series. However, if you say that, I will indeed be honored. Okay, so now let's see what else we've got to do. It's now their turn, so if we do see a light... Okay, hold on. This There's this bug here. An internal error occurred. Let's check that out. It's a nasty looking error. Oh, it's in declare draw and force win, which that means declare draw is actually where it's at. Because I haven't captured any of their pieces, you see. Um, well, technically I have, but technically I haven't, so, because it's not in the code yet. We'll look at line 158 in the game class. Right here, okay, light player, oh. Right. Um, here's what we'll do. If main dot oh this is game okay light player not equal to null then uh, name light equals light player dot get name we'll do the same with this but dark of course if dark player then dark player and dark name. Okay. Wait, is name dark not even a thing yet? Well, there we go. That's better. Now it won't throw a null there. Oh yeah, well. My typing skills are dead right now. There we go. That should no longer be a problem. Now this will actually be testing a couple of things that I have not tested yet, so I'm excited. Let's do C dark. Uh, let's reset the board as well. Oh, we jumped it, and now let's do C, leave. Poof, a draw has been declared between light player and blue one. Now, when it resets the board, the pieces, anytime the game ends, we're gonna need absolutely have to clean the, clear the board first, wipe the board, as it's called in the code. Uh, and that's that declared draw. Mm. Declare draw. Between board dot clean, we need board dot wipe. There we go. That's better. Now, basically, what board dot wipe does is if there's anything on the board, anything at all that is not doesn't belong. There we go. If there's anything on the board that doesn't belong, it wipes it. Just gets rid of it. So, let's do this again. C dark. Let's put you down there. C leave. And we forgot to reload because I'm an idiot. Okay. C reset. 
Uh, see, dark. This is what I do. This is what I spend my time doing, guys. Okay, that worked. I just repeat the same stuff over and over, the same stupid mistakes. Okay, so now what we've got to do... The draw worked very nicely, but notice that I did capture a piece, and it didn't count that. And I, I, wouldn't, I don't think anybody would appreciate that. They capture an enemy piece, and it says, oh, it's a draw. You know, no, actually, I got more pieces than he did, so I win. So, what we're going to do is right down here, you found something called Capture Dark and Capture Light. We're going to make sure those are called in Dark Selection Listener. Okay, so we obviously are jumping with a dark piece. So main.game.jump. And main.game.capture. Capture. Oh, capture light. I think it's capture light. Capture light. Light pieces captured is bigger. Okay, yeah, that should work. Let's reload now. If it's backwards, then I messed up somewhere. See, dark. We do this and this. See, leave. Okay, it didn't work. We reloaded. So what happened? Okay, if... Where's determine, declare, force win? Force win, that's where it's at. Dark pieces captured equals light pieces captured? Does it really? Let's set each to zero. Because they all are zero initially, right? So, dog, could you like go away and not be panting in my ear? He's scared of the thunderstorm. If light pieces captured equals 12, then declare win, check for win. Check for win. That's every time. Yeah, yeah, I gotta remember to do that. Okay, main dot game dot capture light. Main dot game dot check for win. Okay, so basically what that does is every time you capture a piece, it checks whether you won or not. Oh, that's commands. Okay, check for win. We can get rid of commands. Declare win, declare draw, jump, capture dark and light. Okay, jump, we've got jump down pat, I think. Yeah, it unselects all the pieces, switches the turns, and cleans the board. Which, cleaning it just gets rid of, like, the mushrooms and the glass and stuff like that. Basic stuff, okay? So, declare draw is called from elsewhere. Declare win is also called from elsewhere, is it not? Check for win. That's where declare win is. And so is force win. So that's the initial stuff. And if s string, okay. If light pieces captured is greater than dark pieces captured, then declare win light. Else if dark pieces captured is greater than light pieces captured, declare win dark. That's backwards. If there's more dark pieces captured than light pieces captured, win dark did not win. And if there's more light pieces captured, dark won. There we go. I thought I might have that backwards. Okay, check for win. If light pieces captured equals 12, declare win dark. I must have been asleep when I did this, man. If dark pieces captured is equal to light pieces captured, on the other hand, it declares a draw. But they weren't equal, right? Because when we jumped it, capture dark was called dark pieces captured plus plus the 
this would work the same. As that. Uh, capture light. Capture light. Light fuse is captured is up. Something's got to go up. Okay, export, next, finish, yes, we'll see what happens. I don't even remember if I changed anything at this point. But this is what I do. This is a day in the life of a de developer. There we go, can't even speak. Okay, my turn is now over. That's successful. And now if I do C, leave. Okay, okay, it worked, it worked. I, fi I must have fixed it. Declare win has worked. Blue on has won a game of checkers as dark. Now, obviously, there's no space there, so let's fix that real quick before we fix the cleaning of the board. Wiping of the board. My apologies. Game.declare win. As dark. As light. Save. Now, when you win, board.clean should be board.wipe. Okay, now we need to do C dark once again. C leave. Boom. I want a game of checkers as dark. Okay, guys, this is looking really good. I think I've actually got it real close to bug free. Although I want to try something so bad. I've been wanting to try this so bad. So bad. Okay, let's get some skulls. Uh, decoration, right? We're gonna make us some real checker pieces. Alright, this will be dark, just like that. This will be light, just like that. I think that'll look really good. So, uh, set block skull. Is it just skull? One, one. Okay, skeleton skull. It sets it properly. So it's just plain old skull. No, wait, one zero. What about one zero? What's one zero? Same. Okay, it just doesn't directional, right? What about this guy? What are you? Um, hold on. Skull type one. 397, one. Wait, 397 isn't... Oh, skull is not an... Okay, that's the item number, not the block number. Okay, now I'm just mildly confused. Uh, wow, uh, let's see. Let's see what we can do. I want to try this. I really want the pieces to be that. So let's go into config. And this is the config for this particular server. World name is Matrix, by the way beautiful thing. I don't know what the material is for a skull. Let's Google it. Google knows everything. Skull blocks. Gotcha. AKA mob heads. Just close that. We'll keep spintronics out. By the way, for any of you who might have been wondering for some weird reason, I have an IQ of 138. Yeah, and apparently I also have um, excellent chances to pass a real Mensa test, which is the association of 50,000 smartest people in the world, so that felt okay. Okay, that first one's obviously not going to have anything. Oh, they're doing item stacks? Okay, no. Block. Good. Oh my, it's that rotation. Okay. 
I really don't want to do that. I don't feel like having it hard coded. For now, it's just going to be posts. That's disappointing. I might do that later, like have it an option to use skulls instead. Like if skull is true, then then it just does everything by default. Anyway, for now, posts work nicely. So let's get to copy and pasting and see if we can be light as well, because right now if we do see light, watch this, there'll be some issues, okay? We grab you and put you here, nothing will work. Like, your turn is now over instantly. It's like, fail. So, dark, select, dark selection listener, copied, pasted. This is of light pieces, isn't it? Because the other one's of dark pieces. Capture of light pieces. Rename you. Good. And no errors. Okay. Easy peasy. <laughs> Game dot light turn. First wrong thing. Game dot has as light player. If pieces is light. If light has piece selected, and main game dot select as light piece the block, and then um oh oh yeah set it to selected that just puts the shroom on it. That is dark. is dark. Okay. <sighs> oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, gotcha. I almost scared myself for a second. That was, that was something. Okay, you too. Light has piece selected. On select light piece. I don't think I'm missing anything. If I am, I'll sure be screwed up. Um, light has piece selected. Well, I hope I didn't like un change something twice in a row. Tell you what. Okay, I hadn't gotten there yet. Let's redo all of that. Light cell. Capture dark. Check for win. Okay. Oh, I hope I got everything. I probably didn't, and you probably saw it. So let's export, next, finish. I don't know why you guys aren't telling me right now what I got wrong. Okay, so there's the shroom, shown off. But my turn is not, oh. Oh, oh, that was a mistake. First off, your turn is over, shouldn't be happening like that. Secondly, it placed a dark piece. Okay, so let's go all the way down here. Stained glass, captured dark, check for win, we jumped. <sighs> oh, maybe jump hasn't, it has a bug in it, doesn't it? Jump. What's it set you to? What? Oh, yeah, right here. So, we'll use a string in here, maybe? Yeah. So if team color dot equals ignore case, because I don't want to screw it up by just messing up some case, light, dark. Then this mm, 
Now we can make this an else if statement. Light, like that. Light material, light data. Yes, it is data, not data, because if it was data, it'd have two Ts, unfortunately, because I hate saying data. Okay, yeah, now you need to be, we're capturing a dark piece, so we're light. Okay, right? Capture a dark piece, so yes. And you're dark. Very well. Now, I may be slow, but I'm thorough, and I'm good at what I do. So let's reload this. C reset. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I'm confused. We're on the light team right now. C light. Clight. That sounded awful. But it said your turn is now over the first time, didn't it? Well, let's see about that. You know, the strange thing, if main.game.dark turn, this is the dark selection listener, if main.game.light turn, else your turn is now over. Should be just over, right? Just in case. Alright, so, let's go to game, let's go to the team selection, choose team, choose turn, team. So if dark player is not null, I mean somebody's in the dark team. Then if light player is null, nobody's in the light team, then it's the dark turns. If somebody is, is in the light team, nobody's in the dark team, then it's the light turn. Else, if they're both null, then return. I don't know whenever they'd be both null, but I had to put in the null check, I suppose. So let's go to the main. No, let's go to CMDs. If checkers light... Okay, checkers light must be equivalent to checkers dark. That's our problem, if I had to guess. Okay, so there's light. Main.game.light team is empty. If main.game.has as dark, if it does not have the person as dark, then it sets the player as light, chooses the turn. That's forcing it. We don't need to force it, it chooses the. main.game.light player equals p dt dot add okay we don't need to do the dt anymore okay has as dark oh let's change the broadcast message real quick this is gonna look wrong oh no it's not as d team oh as l team like that there we go Okay, this should not be dark purple, this should be white. <laughs> Colors these days. Main dog game that has as light the player. Oh wait. No, it is has as dark. Else if the light team is not empty, somebody else is in there. Oh wait, nope, if you're in there. You're already playing as all team. Somebody else is already playing as all team. If main.game does not have as light the player. Okay, now I think we fixed it. Let's export this and try it out. Okay, reload. We do 
see reset obviously let's put a dark piece over here and that that's it okay see light okay blue on his drone checkers is light very nice <gasps> it worked and, oh but my turn's over I already have a piece selected uh, of course I have a piece selected um We did reload, right? Yeah, we reloaded. <sighs> I really don't know. Hold on, you can only select your own pieces. If manned up piece system is dark. You already have a piece selected. Where's that? You already, there it is. So if they have a piece selected, then if it is not the selected light piece, right, that should fix it. That should fix at least that error. And sorry if my mouse looks like it's blinking to you. It looks like it's blinking to me too, and I really don't know what to do about it. C reset, C light, place you right chair, we select you, we pop over. Okay, so now it just has the your turn is over error, which is only partly an error. It doesn't actually affect gameplay, but it is an error, so we'll call it a bug. Because your turn wasn't over yet. So I, I really don't know what this is caused from. If you guys have already figured it out, you really should have already told me by now. If main.game.light turn else, send message your turn is over. If main.game.light turn trying to think and I don't think and talk well at the same time and I apologize for the occasional silences okay so if it is their turn then it does something it can't be their turn and not be their turn at the same time this is so confusing because it has to not be their turn to say your turn is over but it has to be their turn to actually work What's up with that? Oh, this is so confusing. Fine. Does the dark even do that? Like, if we reload, and do you see dark try to jump you? It does. Your turn is over. Okay, so it's not just a little bitty bug. It's actually a bug. Oh, that's a bug, too. Oh, my. It's not even there. So you can't even move. You gotta jump. Well, that's, that's kind of a fail. Because you can't even jump the first few times. You're just never even going to get anywhere. Like, the game will be over depending on who went first. Let's forget about the your turn is over for now and work on that instead. Because that does affect gameplay. We can always get rid of your turn is over. And it just not work after that because, well, your turn is over. Oh. Hold on. It doesn't tell me you can only select your own pieces. We'll work on that later too anyway. Where now we just have to reload and see dark poof nothing. It just goes away. So Oh, this is so confusing. Okay, just main just the normal pieces. It's going to set to plain glass and stained glass will be reserved for jumps. Alright, that's what I'm gonna do. Mentioned that in my last video. 
I've been thinking about that. Plain glass is just plain jumps. Stained glass, special glass, that's a special jump where you get points. Where you capture pieces, alright? So, um, B2 is dark, then else if is air, then set it to glass. 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 Oops. Just these ones go to just plain glass. Okay, now if it is stained glass, let's do else if uh, b dot get oops get type equals material dot glass. If main dot game dot dot light has a piece selected. I don't even know if I have to do that if I did that previously. Then main dot game dot okay we should really have a method for it. Just like move it. Main dot game dot move Yes. We need a method in the game class called move, right? Underneath jump. Right here. Public void move. And we should have string team color. Okay, we're going to have to have to and from just like previous, previously. Right up in here, okay? Block from block to string team color. Paste you guys. Yes, suppress warnings deprecated because I need to use type ID. Actually, I want to use type ID. Instead of just set type set data, stuff like that. But I don't know really why set data is deprecated. Really though, um, because there isn't like a replacement for it at all. It shouldn't be deprecated. Until there is a replacement, nothing should be deprecated. That's my personal opinion on that. So, if from x is greater than, okay. We need this stuff. Um, I gotta remember what it does. If from x is greater than 2x, okay, this is to get the direction of from z is also greater than 2z, from dot get relative block face dot northwest dot set type material dot error. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, this is easy. I don't even have to change anything really. Unselect dark and light pieces, switch turn, or dot plane. Wait. Oh no. I'm not setting anything to air, am I? Just from. I'm setting from to air, but nothing else. From dot get z is greater than to dot get z. Does, in the dark selection listener, when you actually move something, does it automatically set it to air? Like when you click on it. Okay, so if you click on stained glass, else if you click on plain glass, main dot game dot move, um, copy and paste you.
from.set type error. It's right there in front of me. I didn't even see it. Okay, so it sets the type to error, then it does all of this. Oh, wait, hold on. Does it set to, to light material? It does. So we don't even need this stuff, do we? Just set two to light material. And we don't need to get rid of anything in between. So just that. I think that'll work. So let's save. Let's go to our light selection listener. Main.game.move. Let's do... We don't need to check for win. Only on the jump. Okay, guys. I think I might have fixed it. Fixed a big bug. It's very different from a bed bug. Oh, hold on. Dark has to be selected. And dark cell. Dark. There. Should work. Let's export and see if we can't move a piece without screwing something up. Reload. See dark. Just because. We're going to go here. Oh, man. Really? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Um, I think it'll only work with the light right now. <laughs> Oops. Okay, guys. So let's just grab a random piece. And oh, yeah. That's better. Poof. Oh, and it worked. Turn is now over. All that good stuff. Okay. So <laughs> I just forgot to do something extremely important. Right here. we got to get rid of stand and just change it to glass. You guys probably already saw that and didn't tell me again. There we go. I really enjoy doing this, actually. Even though it is kind of mildly boring. But hopefully you guys learned something from it. I mean, that's really what I'm hoping from all of this. It's, uh... Oh, we can do C leave now, can't we? A draw has been declared. I didn't draw, I didn't do anything. C dark. We click. Oh, man. We didn't... Oh, let, yeah, that's right. We have to C reset. We have to reload the whole thing. And we have to see dark. And we're going to move something. Okay, that's better. Perfect. Okay, so now let's get rid of that stupid little bug where it tells you your turn is over. There, that one's gone. <laughs> that might not be the proper way to get rid of it, but I'm getting rid of it that way anyway, just because... Um, really, I don't know why. Is it, is it done? Like, is this a beta version of Checkers? Could it be? I don't know until I've tested it with somebody. Well, first of all, let's re-put it down here, and let's actually make this board something more interesting. Let's do, like, lapis. I like color. Oops. <laughs> and for the rest of them, let's actually set them to redstone. So to do that, we're going to have to... Oh, wait. This is a much better block now. 214. Okay, so let's go here. Let's go to here. 214. <laughs> yes, this is a much better red block now. Ready? Let's reload. Let's see how this goes. Ready? We're going to stand on this block. We're going to use C build because this is the northwest. Perfecto. Now we can actually get rid of all of this stuff because this isn't even a board anymore, as you can see. It's like not protected or anything. That's the magic behind this. So let's select that and set to air. Poof, gone. But if you try to break any of this stuff, well, except for that, obviously, but. Like, okay, like that, it's just invincible. No matter what you try to do to it, you cannot break it. So let's use C dark. Okay. Poof. Oh, come on. Did I get rid of your turn is over? Hold on. 
Let's check out where this is coming from. When does it ever tell me that my turn is over? It doesn't. It doesn't tell me. Ever. Okay, let's export this again. Okay. Bug fixed. I'm satisfied. Okay, guys, so that's tonight's video. Um, it's past 11 o'clock right now, and since this seems to be working pretty much bug free, although not with all of the planned features, this will be the second to last. Um, video on this particular plugin. It obviously won't be the last in this series because I've got a lot more plugins in store to make with you guys, but for now, this is it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will be making one more, as I said, and it will be the f grand finale where I have basically add in a bunch of good features. It will not be the last update I make to the plugin because it will be a uh, purchasable plugin on spigot forums. Hold on. I have to get rid of this. This is bothering me. It's so ugly. It didn't work. Uh, we're going to set this to error. There we go. So I will be making updates on the spigot resources, not forums, and the bucket resources as well. So that will be a purchasable plugin there where you can play checkers with all of your friends as much as you want. I will have a reward system added shortly. That will be in the next video, I think, where I might add some implementation of Vault and add an economy win, but I might also just have it run a command configurable or multiple commands. And I hate doing stuff like that, but I think I'll do it anyway just because it's the best reward system you can possibly have just run commands and then you can like give a player something whatever anyway so I hope you guys liked this video if you did please leave a like which would be the sensible thing to do if you actually liked it and subscribe if you would I love to hear your comments if you have any feedback if you have any suggestions questions anything like that please let me know in the comments and I will respond ASAP so I'll see you guys next time